So Operation Broken Fang was four years ago now, which is really, really crazy. Time definitely flies. And in this video today, we're going to be looking back on Operation Broken Fang to see how the items from that operation have appreciated in price over time, which items have done the best, which items have done the worst, so that we can learn uh, from the past and hopefully be better prepared for future operations to maybe be able to pick the best items and the winners and make the most money going forward. This is actually an idea I had from a uh, CS YouTuber called Fells. Uh, he makes some really good content you guys go check him out f-e-l-l-z i do believe um he has apparently done some of these in the past i haven't really seen them um so i'm obviously going to be doing my own spin and take on this but i really like the idea of looking back on past operations uh to hopefully learn from them uh i know this is probably going to be called like broken fang five years uh or whatever just because i think five years sounds better than four years but i do believe broken fang was four years ago um but of course first just want to mention real quick if you are looking to sell any of your cs2 items to turn them into cold hard cash or crypto or any other payment method definitely hit me up over on twitter we're buying pretty much any Anything and everything for the right price we can get you an instant cash out in case you need money for irl stuff or just to switch up your inventory portfolio or whatever uh and of course by selling me you're helping support me my channel and my content with that being said let's get right into this today so Operation Broken Fang released on December 3rd of 2020. Again, it's been about four years. Um, it actually ended on May 3rd of 2021. So it's been about three years since the end of Operation Broken Fang. Uh, and there's a lot of ways you can do this. You could base items from the beginning of the operation, the middle of the operation, the end of the operation, whatever. I'm actually going to be using this May 3rd, 2021 date uh, as my statistical analysis point um, because I actually think it's more interesting of where you could buy items once the operation ended because obviously once the operation is going on everyone can buy them and you know load up on items whatever but once the operation is done then these items are done and that's really once we start seeing how the items are going to perform so I'm taking all of these prices um, from the end of the operation when you could actually just like you know buy them off the market or whatever and when prices were done kind of fluctuating and items uh, were done dropping and releasing and everything like that so the different items we have from this operation, just in case you didn't know, we do have the list of broken fang agents. And there's a lot of good ones in here. So I picked out a couple of them to see how they performed. Sir Bloody Miami Daryl, obviously being the most expensive agent in the game. This one, hey, it's probably done pretty well. Up 562% since the end of Operation Broken Fang. Sir Bloody Miami Daryl has been one of the best performing items from this entire, uh, you know, this entire operation. Uh, so obviously high end agents might be somewhere to look. Now, obviously a lot of why Sir Bloody Miami Daryl has done so well, it was already on a nice upward projection anyway. Um, but since we have not really gotten any new operations or new agents in the meantime, there's no uh, kind of competition, especially for those top tier agents and the agents that look really cool. Sir Bloody Miami Daryl is very popular. This thing's done insanely well. What about a lower tier agent, a little bit cheaper agent? I went with a female one since uh, female agents, um, you know, there's not very many of them. People seem to like them. They seem to do pretty well. Um, I chose uh, Dead Cold Jameson, uh, and she is up 90% uh, since the end of the operation. So obviously this one has not done as well, but still 90% gains in three years. That's really good. That's market beating returns. You would love to have 90% gains in three years. Obviously, maybe you'll feel a little bit bad when people are making 500% of Miami Daryl, um, but you could have bought a lot of these for cheap. You could have loaded up, uh, you know, at the end of the sale, these were $4.78. At the end of the sale, uh, Daryl was $13, but both of both of these have obviously done quite well. We have number K, uh, like the mascot for Counter-Strike at this point, a uh, very iconic agent. He is up 625%. So he has actually outperformed uh, Sir Bloody Miami Daryl uh, since uh, the end of the operation. He was $6.70 and he has done insanely well since then. Then we have another kind of mid-tier agent, Safecracker Voltsman is $2.47 the end of the operation. He's up 461%. So really, again, uh, no matter what, all the agents did quite well. Even if you picked a lower end one that kind of flopped, you still made some good gains. Um, but there were some chances to pick up some, uh, you know, iconic cool agent. So pretty much uh, what I learned from these agents is you want to get something different, unique, interesting, you know, say Cracker Volts when he's got the glasses, he's got the interesting hair, uh, number K, obviously, uh, Miami Daryl, obviously, um, but you know, the, the dead cold or whatever, this is just kind of a pretty basic looking agent, nothing too crazy there. Um, so if you get the interesting ones that are going to stand out and be unique, you have a chance to make some good gains. Um, next we have the operation broken fang case, uh, which this thing, done quite well, up 464% since the end of the operation. This thing was uh, 61 cents uh, and it's now $5.17. These are our steam prices, by the way. Um, so operation cases, we know that they do well. What about the items inside? We have the M4A1S print stream, uh, which is up 157%. So again, not as good, uh, better than the lowest tier agent, but um, not you know as good as some of the other stuff. Not Definitely not something I would prioritize, but hey, M4A1 print stream still done quite well. And then what about a uh, you know filler skin from the case, the CZ75 Ven data uh, up 135%. So again, the case was quite good. The items inside it, maybe not as hot as investments. 
Broken Fang stickers. What do we got going on here? We have the Battles Guard Hollow. Up 46% since the end of the operation. The single was $6.29. It's now uh, $9.34. This is quite disappointing, especially because in between now and then, we had the crafting update, which allowed 5x crafts and rotating stickers and stuff like that. So this is actually a uh, pretty big underperformance and pretty disappointing, in my opinion. Uh, one, it's a cool sticker. You know, I, I think it's really cool. I think it looks good. So I don't know. Hasn't really done that well. Enemy spotted paper. I wanted to use a lower tier sticker as well, lower end sticker. This thing was $0.08, cents and now it's $0.12, cents, so 53% gain. Again, you would take a 53% gain in three years that's market beating that's doing quite well but again it's disappointing when you see how many other good uh, options there were in this operation so uh, that's kind of what a lower tier sticker uh, did from broken fang um, next up we have oh, that's not what i meant to click on we have the control collection obviously a very very cool one especially with the blue phosphor being inside of that blue phosphor up 136 percent and again this is pretty disappointing to me because in between now and then the blue phosphor had this new insane buff cs2 came out the lighting changes the blue phosphor became this amazing looking skin and it's still only up 136 percent you can see this massive jump and until this massive jump the skin was like down or flat so again these high tier skins from these cases or these collections not really performing that well blue foster gets this insane buff with the uh, cs2 update and still doesn't even perform that well what about a filler skin from the control collection the mp9 arm machine this thing has done pretty good up 377 percent since the end of the operation broken fang uh next up we have the metal skill group patch collection again i'm a big fan of patches and i love the uh skill group uh patch collection we have the metal silver patch this thing was just 52 cents at the end of operation broken fang now up to four dollars 76 cents and 813 percent gain this is the new leader in the clubhouse for the biggest gain that we've seen so far in this video again this uh patch is interesting and it's funny to me obviously who wouldn't want to throw a silver patch on their guy and make them uh you know iconic funny meme you know making fun of themselves or making fun of other people or whatever calling other people silver calling, calling yourself silver i think it's funny uh it's a simple patch design um, but it has done insanely well up you know 800 plus percent since the end of the operation then we also have the metal silver demon patch uh which is up 228 percent uh since the end of operation broken fang uh next up we have the havoc collection uh, and inside the Havoc collection, we have the AK-47 X-Ray. This thing ended uh, the operation at uh, $1,800. It is now down to $773, a drop of 57%. The first item that we've seen go down uh, since the end of Operation Broken Fang. But what about a filler skin inside? We have the PP Bison Death Rattle up 319% since the end of Operation Broken Fang. We got the Recoil Graffitis. I took a look at the Sealed Graffiti Recoil AK-47 War Pig Pink. And it's up 451% since the end of the operation. And I believe we do have one more item class to get into. We have the Ancient Collection. I believe this is it. Uh, and inside the Ancient Collection, we have the M4A1S Welcome to the Jungle, which is down since the end of the operation, going from $1,500 down to $1,273. What about a filler skin inside of it? We have the Nova Army Machine up 195% since the end of the operation. So there is a look back on Operation Broken Fang 5 or 4 or 3, whatever uh, we're calling this years later, to see what items performed well, what items didn't, what items uh, outperformed, disappointed, all that good stuff. Uh, and again, I don't really know exactly how to use this information just yet. Obviously, we're going to have to wait and see what, uh, if and when a new operation comes out, and then what item classes are inside of that operation. Uh, but now you know a little bit more. If you guys want to see me dive into another operation, like uh, Shattered Web or Riptide or whatever, we can do that as well in a future video. Um, but here are some of the biggest winners and losers uh, from the broken. Fang collection three or four or five years later. Pretty much it was video today, guys. Hopefully, catch you the next one. Until then, peace.